Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cassandra. Today I will be doing a review on the House of Oud just before. So if you want to know exactly what I think about this fragrance, please continue to watch. Okay, we are back. And this is the packaging for the fragrance. Gorgeous packaging. Simply white, gold writing, and with the milliliters, it says 75 ml, 2.5 full ounce, a EDP, and it is in black. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. Now, this fragrance was released in 2018. Now, here is the bottle. Look at that bottle, y'all. Look at that bottle. Look at the bottle. Gorgeous, y'all. Simply gorgeous. Now, now each one of these bottles are hand painted so you will never find two bottles exactly alike okay so it sits on a gold base and it said t-h-o-o -O, the house of oud oh okay all you do and you can hold it like this if you want to or like this but you would do it like this and it's not going to come loose because i think it's magnetic and that's why it won't come loose. But we're going to take it loose. See there? So it might have something magnetic or something inside there. I don't know. The reason it doesn't come out. Okay? So, let's spray. And let's check this out, y'all. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Let's check it, check it out. Let's spray. Let's spray. Okay? I will have the correct notes over here somewhere to let you all know exactly what's in this fragrance, okay? Did y'all see that spray? Did y'all see that spray? Mm -mm -mm. The first thing I smell in this fragrance is bergamot. Yes, it has bergamot in it. And I smell saffron. Now this is a semi-sweet addictive fragrance. To me it's warm and it's spicy. And it's probably because I also um, smell vanilla and amber in this too. Mm. And I think also some benzone is in it. This is a very delicious garment type fragrance. It's not really garment, but if you getting those vibes as if it's garment. Creamy. Fresh. Oh, to me it is great for cold weather. But like I said, you can wear it anytime. Any season, day or night. But it's definitely perfect for cold weather. Mmm. Now that it's done dried down, it smells almondly. Like I, you know, like it got some almonds or something in it. Maybe that's coming from one of the wood, woods, uh, sandalwood or whatever, any kind of the wood that's in this fragrance. This is a sweet, addictive, warm, spicy, ambery fragrance. And I think that amber has a lot to do with that. The amber and that benzone getting together, that's what making it a little spicy. Then we getting down to the almonds. It seems like it got that almondy feel, that almondy smell in it. But that might be coming from the woods, all the different woods they have in this fragrance. Because that almondy 
is making milky, buttery, creamy. Mm, this is gorgeous, y'all. The dry down with that vanilla and that almond, y'all. That vanilla and that amber is sweet. Slightly gourmand, but not really gourmand. This is a gorgeous scent, y'all. Simply gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. And like I said, I will wear it day, night, winter, spring, summer, fall, anytime. This is an anytime, any season, any season, day or night fragrance, y'all. Oh, it's delicious. Okay. Let's go ahead on and rate this fragrance. On a scale from one to five, the packaging, I give it a five. On a scale from one to five, the bottle, I give it a five. On a scale from one to five, the juice inside this bottle, I give it a five. On a scale from one to five, the um, spray, the spray on this bottle, I give it a five. The longevity and the sillage, I give it a five. So, my overall number for this fragrance is dun, 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 a five. So, comment in the bottom section of this video and let me know, do you have any of the House of Oud fragrances? And if so, what do you think about them? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.